Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with B.I. Rabbi. I'm Rabbi Adam Stein. You can see in the background here, I'm at VGH, Vancouver General Hospital. And whenever I'm here visiting people, I'm often thinking of names. You know, we think about the names of people we're praying for, who need healing, maybe who are sick, recovering from a surgery or an injury, be finding out about something difficult. And when I visit them, I'm thinking about names because I might be asking their Hebrew name, their mother's Hebrew name. We say that the Hebrew name, the first name, maybe middle name, and then son of or daughter of the mother's name in the traditional prayer for healing. But really thinking about the, the mother's role in, in caring and supporting and loving in a family throughout the ages. And then I think about the names on our list for the Mishaberach that we read on Saturday mornings and Monday mornings and Thursday mornings, caring for those in the community. And it's a powerful thing, names. And this week, I've been thinking about names in our Torah portion. The most famous thing in our Torah portion, Parshat Yitro, is the Ten Commandments. And we're gonna hear them tomorrow morning in our shul. But right at the beginning of the parasha, Yitro, the, the namesake of this parasha, the father-in-law of Moses shows up it's not the first time we see him. It's not the first time Moses sees him. Moses meets him a long time ago when he flees Egypt and he's running away because he's being chased by the authorities. He had killed the taskmaster and he ends up in Midian and he meets Tzipora, who later becomes his wife. He meets Tzipora's father, Yitro, a Midianite priest. They get along. He becomes the part of the family. He becomes a shepherd for his father-in-law's uh, sheep, the burning bush, etc. But this time, Moses is meeting Yitro after a while because a lot of things has ha have happened. He went back to Egypt, he had the 10 plagues, he had let my people go, the people did go, and they had the, uh, the leaving of Egypt, the exodus, and the splitting of the Red Sea. And Yitro heard about all this, and he greets Moses. He's heard about all the things that God did. He heard about the splitting of the sea in particular, and they embrace and Yitro is, is wowed by everything, and he's going to convert to, to Judaism according to tradition. And Rashi, our most famous commentator, 1100s, 1200s, he, well, also a great winemaker in France, most famous commentator in our tradition on the Torah and the rest of the Tanakh and the Talmud, Rashi says, well, who is this Yitro guy? And why does he seem to have so many names? He gets, he, he gets many names listed besides Yitro. And Rashi says there are seven names that Yitro is called by people. Nikra'ulo, Sheva Shemot. Like we say, Korimli, people call me Adam. Or Ech Korim Lecha, Ech Korim Lach. How do people call you? In Spanish we say, Como te llamas? How do you call yourself? Seven names Yitro was called. I'll try to list them all for you. See if I can do it. Yeter, Yitro, uh, Chovav, and Putiel and Kaney, and I think I'm forgetting one, um, Reuel, I think that's seven. Reuel, Yeter, Yitro, Chovav, Hever, Kaney, Putiel. And those are all the names of Yitro, Rashi says. And he says, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an explanation of some of them. Chovav, because he chibev et Torah. He, he was beloved of the Torah. He had so, so much love for the Torah and he converted to Judaism for that reason, to this ancient but just beginning uh, faith. Began with Abraham, but the, the people were just coming together as a nation when he converted. And why Yeter? Because he yeter, he added a whole parasha to the portion. Yeter like Hosif in modern Hebrew, like the Musaf service, the additional service. He added this portion, not just por the Parashat Yitro, but a part of Parashat Yitro, Rashi says, the part where he gives Moses advice about how to run things. He said, Moses, you're doing too much. You're trying to care for everyone and uh, adjudicate everyone's problems. You should set up some lower courts and higher courts, and you can just be the Supreme Court Justice. He added this portion. And why Yitro? Well, it's like Yeter, but with an extra Vav. When he became a part of the Jewish people, he got that extra Vav. So Yitro has so many names. We all have so many names. The names that we were born with, the names we pick up along the way, and the beloved names people call us. Dr. Jonathan Winkle is here this weekend, this Shabbat. He's going to be sharing with us some insights as a doctor for many decades. I hope to see you all. Shabbat Shalom.